Let's think about troubleshooting. There can always be the case that your espresso does not turn out exactly how you desired it to be. But by knowing how to identify the following problems, we can decipher the specific reasons and then the solutions in order to create the perfect espresso. The first step to creating great coffee is to make sure that your technique is consistent. Problem 1. The first problem could be that the espresso shot is running too slowly. Is it dripping or perhaps trickling into the cup? The reason we will look into here will be one of three previously discussed factors. Either the grind, the dose or the tamp. Let's look at the grind. The reason for this problem could be that the grind is too fine. You can fix this by making the grind more coarse on your grind settings, which means you need to turn the grinder clockwise or to the left. The second reason could be that too much coffee was dosed into the portafilter. This can be fixed by dosing less coffee into the portafilter and taking note of your consistencies. Stick to what works and do it the same every time. Thirdly, it could have something to do with the tamp. You may have tamped too hard, and this can be fixed by taking note of how much pressure should be applied. If this was the problem, you need to tamp with less pressure, and note this, as you can remain consistent for the next coffees that you make. Problem 2. A second problem could be that the espresso shot is running too quickly. Is it gushing or perhaps streaming into the cup? The reasons we will look into here will be of the same three factors, the grind, dose or tamp. Firstly, the grind. The grind may be too coarse, making it very easy for the water to be pushed through the coffee. You need to fix this by making the grind finer, which can be done by turning the grinder counterclockwise or to the right. Secondly, the dose could be the problem. The dose into the portafilter may have been too little coffee. This is easy to solve by noticing how much should be dosed in order to prevent this from happening again. Consistency is the key. Thirdly, perhaps your tamp was too soft and hence you will need to dose again and tamp with more pressure. Once you've got it right, note this and keep it consistent every single time. Most importantly, you need to keep your eyes open. The way that the coffee comes out of the espresso machine is always giving you clues as to potential problems. Once you notice a problem, diagnose it by trying to find out if it was a problem with the grind, the dose or the tamp, and then adjust accordingly. Good luck.